We gotta see the transformation. Who's... That's not the dude. Oh my god! Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Thanks for clicking on this video. Today I want to watch Buffy Season 2, Episode 15, entitled Phases. This could be, I would say, um, probably another one-off. I think I know from the comments that there are a couple more one-off episodes in this season. It's Episode 15. I think there's 22. Unless I'm wrong about that. I think there's 22 this season. So there's not that many left. Seven. This will be one of the seven. And I think there's, I think a lot of it probably will have to do with um, Angel. But I think there's another couple at least, or at least one more or two more that aren't overtly about that. If they were going to do one that wasn't about that, probably now would be the best time because, you know, you want to get into it in the latter part of the season. But so I'm guessing this one is not and oh and part of the reason i'm guessing that is because i saw the thumbnail for it and i had a picture of like a wolf head <laughs> but that doesn't mean it's not it could still be related also i it's not it's gonna be inconceivable to me i just watched a reaction to princess bride that's why i'm using that word but it's gonna be inconceivable to me that they won't you know, at least mention, I mean, Buffy's going to be depressed over this Angel thing. So even if Angel and Drew and stuff are not part of this, there's going to have to be some chit chat amongst the gang about, you know, kind of something about what's happened. So I'm very eager to see how they kind of move forward with that. Maybe they'll do some little Oz and Willow stuff. This is all my guess. It could completely be about Angel for all I know, which would be cool too, but... I'm suspecting it's not going to be, it'll be a one-off, but there'll be some chit-chat surrounding the issues at hand with Angel and them, and maybe there'll be, a, that's my prediction. Like, subscribe, comment. Um, if you like full reactions, they will, are released on my Patreon pretty much right as soon as I'm done watching these. And the YouTube cuts are put up a little bit early as well. Okay, let's do it. <laughs> Phases. Well, I forgot to guess what that means, but but the wolf, I'll say moon phases. What you looking at? This cheerleading trophy. It's like it's oh, a nice follow you wherever you go. Oh no. <laughs> I like it. So did you like the movie last night? That's so funny. And I had a really fun time at the rest. I mean, the part with you. Oh, that's great. Uh, my time was also of the good. Well, oh, then. Oh, there. I have my friend, so I will go to her. I'll see you then. Hey. Oops. Uh. Oh, thank you, Thigh Master. <laughs> Guy's a dick. It's fun. I mean, she's got to be putting out. But what's the point? What are you going to do? Talk? <laughs> Come on, fess up. How far have you got? Nowhere. I mean, he said he was going to wait until I was ready, but I'm ready. Honest, I'm good to go here. <laughs> He's great. We have a lot of fun. But I want smoochies. Have you dropped any hints? I've dropped anvils. Oh, she's into it now. Oh, hurry. I don't want to be the only girl in school without a real boyfriend. Oh, I'm Ooh. I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be talking about... Ouch. How are you holding up anyway? Holding? I was gone on two minutes there without thinking about Angel. I'll give Xander a call. What's his number? Oh yeah, one eight hundred. I'm dating a skanky hoe. <laughs> Xander and Cordelia. Ew, what does he see in her anyway? But what could she possibly see in him? Excuse me. We didn't come here to talk about Willow. We came here to do things I can never tell my father about because he still thinks I'm a good girl. I just don't trust Oz with. <laughs> he's wow. Attractive. And he's in a band, and we know what kind of element that attracts. I've dated lots of guys in bands. Do you even want to be here? I'm not running away. Because when you're not babbling about poor, defenseless Willow, you are raving about the all-powerful Buffy. I do not babble. 
I occasionally run on. Every now and then I yammer. Xander. Yeah. Look around. We're in my daddy's car. It's just the two of us. There is a beautiful big full moon outside tonight. Full moon. So shut up. We haven't really had a wolf man yet. I don't think. There we go. Well, that was all really cool. Buffy doesn't seem overly down. I thought I heard something. I is Willow sending out some sort of distress signal that only you can hear? <laughs> okay, now I know I heard something. All right, that's it. You know, your mind hasn't been here all night. How about I just drop you off? I mean, how could they really go park out in the middle of the woods somewhere in Sunnydale? I told you I heard something. Without thinking a monster might, or vampire or something might attack them. You sure it was a werewolf? Well, let's see. Claws, a big old snout in the middle of his face. Yeah, I'm sticking with my first guess. And then there was that little thing where it tried to bite us. It was so awful. I know. Daddy just had this car detailed. <laughs> so what's the word? Yeah, it seems there were a number of other attacks by a wild dog around town. Several animal carcasses were found mutilated. Fortunately, no people were injured. I falls into that to switch column. Well, for now, but my guess is that this werewolf will be back at next month's full moon. What about tonight's full moon? Pardon? Well, last night was the night before the full moon. Meaning the accepted legend that werewolves only prowl during the full moon might be erroneous. Yes, I must admit, I, I am intrigued. The werewolves, it's, it's one of the classics. He needs to get a pet. And a full moon like tonight tends to bring out the crazies, but with some simple basics of self-defense, each of you can learn how to protect yourself. As possible. Your attacker Tag. Would you look at that? He's all over her. Psst. But if hey, buddy, this head, is a public forum here. Turn... Well, everybody's kind of pairing up. I mean, Xander's like openly hanging out with Will with Cordelia. So what happened? Oh, uh, last week, some huge dog jumped out of the bushes and bit me. Thirty-nine stitches. My cousin Jordy just got his grown-up teeth in. It's not like to be tickled. Oh, he's going to turn into a werewolf, of course. Be still, my shorts. We're in the same group. I may have to attack you. No, actually, I think uh, in our group, there are a few of us. And I'm one of the few. Don't forget, you're supposed to be a meek little girly girl like the rest of us. Spoil my fun. Yeah. Bend forward using your back and shoulders to flip the assailant over to the ground. <laughs> She's got her attention. Wow. That works too. Grabbed her ass. On pure instinct, no conscience, uh, predatory and, and aggressive. In other words, your typical male. On behalf of my gender, hey. A uh, wolf man could also be a, a wolf woman, or, or anyone who was bitten by a werewolf. So then I'm guessing your standard silver bullets are in order here? No. No matter who this werewolf is, it, it's still a human being who may be completely unaware of his or her condition. So tonight we bring him back alive. Yeah, but what do we do next month when they turn again? Might as well kill them. So many people have died in... Sunny Dale. I thought we might knock on a few windows, uh, ask if anyone's seen anything yet. Giles, no one's seen anything. So it's gonna be that. That guy is also the guy that Xander was. Gotcha. WTF? What the hell? Giles! Hey! Whoa. Whoa. Hands are good right about there. Who, who are you? What are you doing? My name's Kane. I'm the one with the gun, which means I'm the one who gets to do the interviewing. I'm guessing he's hunting the werewolf. We're hunting werewolves. This guy looks like he's auditioning to be a librarian. <laughs> you, well, you're a girl. I assure you she's quite capable. I tore a tooth from the mouth of every werewolf that I killed. This next one will bring the total to an even dozen. So you're just gonna kill it? Their pelts fetch a pretty penny in Sri Lanka, and it's a little hard to skin them when they're alive. You hunt werewolves for, for sport? No, no. I'm in it purely for the money. They're suckers for that whole sexual heat thing. Sense it miles away. Well, that guy's a piece of work. I think I know where to look. We just have to make it there before Mine Furrier. <laughs> Mine Furrier. <laughs> 
Good one, Buffy. Everything okay? Yeah, I just, uh, I, I thought I, I heard something behind me. Oh, shit. Dude, let's see Vampire v. Werewolf. I could have sworn that. It's okay. You can get pretty scary out here all alone at night. Don't you go to school with Buffy. Oh, you know Buffy? <laughs> yes, I do. Very well. Huh. Come on. I'll get you home. Damn! Now they got multiple things to worry about. Buffy, Buffy, Willow, Willow. It's like I don't even exist. I sometimes feel like that. <laughs> All a part of his little guy games. He's so busy looking around at everything he doesn't have, he doesn't even realize what he does have. Well, he should at least realize that you have Oz. Oz and I are in some sort of holding pattern, except without the holding. What's his problem? Oh, that's right, he's a guy. Yeah, I mean Xander, guys. Who do they think they are? <laughs> a couple of guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so great to watch those two bonding. The werewolf gets in there. Does <laughs> Buffy still got her backpack on? I want them to capture it. chain around its neck. Chain? What were you gonna do? Take it for a walk? This is what happens when a woman tries to do a man's job. This girl risks her life trying to capture a beast that you haven't as yet been able to find. If that thing out there harms anyone, it's going to be on your pretty little head. I hope you can live with that. I live with that every day. First they tell me I can't hunt an elephant for its ivory. I've got to deal with people for the ethical treatment of werewolves. <laughs> I want to see him get meet up with Here we go. Oh, is he giving it to him? Uh, any sign of the uh, werewolf? No. The office has identified the body as that of Sunnydale High School student Teresa Klusmeyer. Ooh. It's nearly sunrise. Werewolf. I'll be a werewolf much longer. We're assuming it's that guy. We haven't really have seen any proof yet. Maybe that's coming right now. We gotta see the transformation. Oh. Who's... That's not the dude. Who's this guy? Oh my god! That's fucking Oz? Holy shit. Whoa! Huh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> what a twist. I wanted to ask you something. Is Jordy a werewolf? And how long has that been going on? Oh, because he... Yeah, uh, loved Uncle Ken. Got bit by his cousin. Holy crap! This show's not shying away from going in dramatic directions. Is everybody okay? Did anybody get bitten or, or scratched? No, we're fine. Gladness. We have one more night. Another night? Oh, yeah. Believe me, I'm going to give that wolfie something to howl about. But there's really no way to tell who it is. I'm practically an expert on the subject. On account of once you were a hyena? I know what it's like to crave the taste of freshly killed meat. You said you didn't remember anything. <laughs> I was about to say. I said I didn't remember anything about that. Look, the point is, is I have an affinity with this thing I could get in <laughs> Wait a second. It's right in front of us. It's obvious who I am. I'm Larry. You got the dog bite. You got the aggression, not to mention the excessive back hair. Still, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm going to go talk to him. I'm going to force a confession out of him. Are you okay? What? You kind of knew Teresa. I'm trying not to think about it. It's, it's a lot. But we can do stuff to help. Well, like looking up stuff. I'm going to be doing that most of the night. You could... Help me help together? No. I'm busy. So? I gotta go. He's gotta go lock himself up or something. But he didn't kill Teresa. We know that, but they don't know that. But they've gotta keep Oz's hands clean. So they are gonna have to find that out. I know your secret, big guy. I know what you've been doing at night. That nosy little nose of yours is going to get you into trouble someday. Like today. Hurting me isn't gonna make this go away. People are still gonna find out. All right. 
What do you want? What has he been doing? <laughs> what has he been doing? <laughs> what, you think you have a cure? I know what you're going through because I've been there. That's why I know you should talk about it. Look, if this gets out, it's over for me. What is it? How are people going to look at me after they find out I'm gay? I never thought it might be that. I said it, and it felt okay. Wow. I am gay. I heard you the first time. <laughs> I can't believe it. It was almost easy. Knowing you went through the same thing made it easier for me to admit it. That's so funny. Your secret's safe with me. That's so wild. I kind of thought they might do that for a second, and then I thought, no, Buffy wasn't progressive enough to throw that in there. But sure enough, that was pretty wild. Oz wanted to be someplace that was away from me. He's so hot and cold. Maybe you need to make the first move. So how'd it go with Larry? What's that supposed to mean? He's not the werewolf. Can't we just leave it at that? Sorry, I was just wondering. Well, he's not. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Nowhere in any of the reports did it say anything about her being mauled. And they were linked to the animal attacks from the other night, so we just assumed werewolf. What else should we have assumed? Vampire. Instead of not protecting Teresa from a werewolf, I was able to not protect her from something just as bad. Your boyfriend. Buffy, you can't blame yourself for every death that happens in Sunnydale. If it weren't for you, people would be lined up five deep waiting to get themselves buried. And Teresa's a vampire. Oh, fuck. Angel senses love. That threw her off. Okay, they found out. Are you okay? This isn't happening. He's gonna keep coming after me. Don't let him get to you. He's not the same guy you knew. That what? Good. What was that? Oh no, my life's not too complicated. <laughs> yeah, Jesus. <laughs> What was that, like a little half a second of almost we'll kiss? Uh, silver bullets. That little flame wouldn't melt silver. I don't think. Oh, is it going to be Willow? What am I supposed to think? First... You buy me popcorn, and you put the tag back in my shirt. It's me. I'm I'm going through some changes. Well, welcome to the world. Don't you think I'm going through a lot? Not like me. Oh, what? So now you're special. You're a special boy with chains and stuff. <laughs> Why do you have chains and stuff? Get out of here! What's wrong? Better hurry up and look. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, no. Oh, no. Now we got to save it from Silver Bullet Guy. There you are. That was a great episode. Decent mind scheduled Slage in the form of Teresa. She's a vampire. Angel sent her to me a little token of his affection. Buffy, I'm so sorry. Not now, Giles. We can all have ourselves a good cry after we bag us a werewolf. But Willow's the only one that knows it's Oz. See, they gotta save him. <laughs> How exactly do we find this thing? It's Oz! It's Oz! What's Oz? The werewolf! Can't you just trust me on this? He, he said he was going through all these changes, then he, he went through all these changes. changes. You're not going to kill Oz? Yeah, he's a werewolf, but he doesn't mean to be. Don't worry, Willow, we're not going to hurt him. You're going to put enough feet of hole in this thing to sink a small elephant. Said he was going through all these changes, and then he went through all these changes. Oh, no. Come on, supper time. Oz, get out of there. Good doggy. Now play dead. Good one. Damn it! Tiles, come on! Oh, please. 
Yeah, let Willa do it. They shot us. <laughs> you saved us. One of this town's overrun with monsters. No one here's man enough to kill them. Well, I wouldn't be too sure of that. How about you let the door hit you in the ass on the way out? <laughs> Is that the last we're gonna see of that guy? <laughs> Man, probably not. If Oz stays an ongoing vampire, I mean werewolf. He'll be a little sore in the morning, but he'll be Oz. All I know is I'll never be able to look at him the same again. He's still a human being. Most of the time. Who are we talking about? Oz. Who are you talking about? <laughs> no one. Oh shit, he was talking about. Here, let me get this. Is he gonna be nice now? I, I owe you. What'd you do? It's really nothing we should be talking about, ever. It's just, well, thanks. That was weird. <laughs> All I'm saying is she's not safe with them. If it were up to me... Xander, it's not up to you. That's right. I'm sorry about how all this ended up with me shooting you and all. It's okay. I'm, I'm sorry I almost ate you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it'd be best if I just... Wait, you know, like, I stayed out of your way for a while. I'm kind of okay with you being in my life. I like you. You're nice. And you're funny. And you don't smoke. Mm. Yeah, okay, werewolf. Three days out of the month. I'm not much fun to be around either. Ah! Funny. You are quiet, the human. Period joke. I'd still, if you'd still. I'd still. I'd very still. Okay. No biting, though. Agreed. In love. Hmm. Huh. Well, I brought a tear to my eye. That was sweet. That was a really good episode. I'm glad we got to see a little bit of Angel. I like when they do that, when they have an episode that isn't about Angel or about the ongoing longer arc story, but they throw it in there for a couple of scenes, you know, just so you can kind of feel like you're being kept abreast of the story. I think that's a better, way better way to do it than to just kind of like completely ignore the ongoing story. You know, they don't have to develop that story much. All they gotta do is throw in, you know, like they did, like a little two second scene, you know. So that was good. That's, I love when they do that. Cause it makes you, also it makes you feel like you, like you're not missing out on that a little bit. We know now that Angel's kind of wandering around, killing, you know, still. And this thing with Oz being a werewolf is just a brilliant turn of events. <laughs> I mean, he wasn't a werewolf until this episode. I guess he, yeah, he just got bit by, I'll have to rewatch that little scene where he's like, he got bit by his cousin or something, his baby cousin. And then what's so funny is when he called up his his aunt or his uncle or whatever and was like, his, what's his name, a werewolf? Right off the bat. And he's like, well, how long has this been going on? <laughs> so, apparently there are werewolves. You know, we haven't really, I guess we have not seen one at all this whole time. All these little monsters they kept bringing up and they never brought up a werewolf. I guess that was the hi that was the hyena episode that I was kind of yeah that they were talking about in this episode. That's the one where I kept talking about the weird hyenas, which and I was like, well, that was their werewolf episode, but I guess it wasn't really, which everyone knew. I did think that everyone seemed to not directly comment on my weird hyena comment very much. Maybe that's because they were like, oh no, werewolves are coming up. <laughs> so this is kind of cool. So Oz, at once a month, they're just going to lock Oz up, I guess. He's going to try to live a healthy, non-murderous werewolf life. We proved that that girl wasn't killed by a werewolf. She, and then she sent a message to Buffy. This was the first episode where, like, Xander Cordelia felt kind of established and out in the open. Obviously, Buffy down knows about all that because they had that conversation earlier, and Willow would obviously tell her. 
Willow and Cordelia are sitting there talking about Xander and Oz, like girlfriends, talking about their boyfriends. That's crazy. Oz suddenly becomes a werewolf, so now he's totally in. He's not only in the know, he's also one of the supernatural people. Oh, and then there's this guy, so she told that werewolf hunter to leave town, and I kind of was like, I wonder if that's the last we'll see of him, but now I'm thinking probably not, because... I'm imagining in the future when Oz is, there'll be episodes where Oz's werewolfness comes into play again, I would imagine. And that werewolf hunter dude is not gone for good, probably. He'll probably come back. He's a good nemesis for werewolf issues, I imagine. I'd be surprised if we didn't see him again at some point in the future. But, um, because he's also a good character. He's a werewolf hunter. He's killed tons of werewolves. He sells their pelts in... I forget where. <laughs> he said, their pelts fetch a pretty price. But that was a great episode. It was good. Tied everything. Um, didn't really... Yeah, tied up. Didn't really tie anything up, I guess. But it... It just sort of solidified a little, few more things, like these relationships and stuff. And, you know, Buffy's bummed about Angel, but she's not completely, you know, rendered, um, you know, she's not neutered by the situation or rendered useless by the situation or debilitated, debilitatedly depressed or anything like that. So she's able to function. And move on with her life, I guess, you know, so, I mean, I was thinking maybe they never, I mean, they're going to have to bring Angel back, too, but I was thinking, you know, there's no reason, you know, I was kind of thinking originally they should bring him back probably by the end of the season, that'll be part of the season arc, somehow they'll get his soul back in his body, but hey, they don't really need to do that. I mean, he could stay this way for good, really. But, I mean, I, I would think he would not. He would, but he, but he could stay this way into next season if they wanted to for a while. And I know there's a spinoff about him, so that's got to be interesting. I do think he should come back and they should get his soul back at some point <coughs> in the future somehow. And then they need to develop that character more. That non-villainous angel character needs to be, like, less, like, um, two-dimensional. I feel like he's... He just feels real two-dimensional. I mean, for a 260-year-old guy who used to be a vampire, we really, other than his him being, like, Stoic and mysterious, and also, ne you know, seemingly in love with Buffy. Other than that, we really don't know much about him. And I, especially if they're going to do a spin off on him, they're, they've got to develop that character further. But that's all assuming that he comes back, because who knows? But I would assume that in the second of my prediction is still going to be in the second to the last episode of this season somehow they'll restore his soul <laughs> all right well thanks for watching like subscribe comment and uh we'll see you next time if you like full reactions are down on the link below my patreon and also these reactions are released a early i'm not making any promises on how early because i get impatient to put them up on youtube trying to sort of start slow and start extending that distance of out so that I can be ahead but but I don't want to delay them too long all right well thanks bye everybody see you next time